Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do mental math sums and multiplication worksheet in class 2. We know that multiplication is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. First, let us begin the video by doing mental math sums which require quick calculation in the mind by the children. In class 2, Children would have learned these tables 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10 tables. Based on this, we are going to do these mental math sums, which is nothing but a quick check of their learning ability on tables. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 4 threes are 12. 6 fours are 24. 7 fives are 35, 6 six are 36, 5 tens are 50, 8 threes are 24, and 9 six are 54. It is very essential for the children to do these tables by heart because all the sums and multiplications that they do in class 2 will be based on these tables. Now, let us do the worksheet. The sums and worksheet will be based on all that the children have learned in class 2 multiplication. Now, here we have four groups. There are 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Two bananas in each group. What is the total number of bananas? How do you find it? Let us do addition. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Four groups of two bananas each, which makes 8 bananas in all. What did we do here? We added 2 4 times to get 8. This is what you would have seen in the introduction to multiplication video. Let us see this in detail once again for a quick revision. What did we do here? We added 2 4 times to get the answer 8. This is called as Repeated addition. And how do you write this in multiplication? 4 into 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And what is the symbol for multiplication? This is the symbol for multiplication, a into sign. Repeated addition is called as multiplication. Let us do another sum. Here we have two groups and there are six flowers in each group. How do you do repeated addition? 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Number of groups we have here is 2. And number of flowers in each group is 6. So, total number of flowers will be number of groups into number in each group. So, 2 into 6. This is the multiplication statement and the answer is 12. To do many more such interesting sums and learn the basics of multiplication, please do visit my video Introduction to Multiplication. The link to that video is given below in the description box. The next topic that we are going to revise in this worksheet video is number line multiplication. 5 into 5 is equal to what? We can do this by tables or we can also do it by number line multiplication. Here we have a number line with numbers 0 to 50. What does 5 into 5 mean? 5 groups of 5 items each. In number line multiplication, it will be 5 jumps that we will have to make and in each jump there will be 5 numbers, that is we will have to skip 5 numbers in each jump. So in the first jump, you reach number 5. Second jump, 10. Third jump, 
15. Fourth jump, 20. And in the fifth jump, you reach number 25. So, 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Very interesting, right? Let us do one more sum. What is 6 into 4? Here, we are going to take a number line with numbers 0 to 40. What does 6 into 4 mean? 6 groups of 4 items each. Or here in number line multiplication terms, it is 6 jumps with 4 numbers in each of the jumps. So let us start jumping from 0. First jump, you reach number 4. Skip 4 numbers and in the second jump, you reach number 8. In the third jump, you reach number 12. In the fourth jump, when you skip 4 numbers, you reach number 16. In the fifth jump, you reach number 20. And in the sixth jump, when you skip 4 numbers, you reach number 24. So 6 into 4 is equal to 24. To do number line multiplications for all the tables 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10 tables, you may visit my number line multiplication videos. The links to the videos are given below in the description box for your quick and easy access with proper naming conventions. The worksheet. The next topic that we are going to see is order property of multiplication. Let us quickly revise what does order property mean. Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remains the same. Let us see this with the help of examples. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. What is 3 into 5? 3 into 5 is also 15. This is the order property of multiplication. Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The answer or the product remains the same. 5 into 3 or 3 into 5 will give you the same answer 15. 4 into 10 is 40. What is 10 into 4? 40. 3 into 5 is equal to dash into 3. Is equal to dash. See, this is the another way of testing the understanding. 3 into 5 is equal to 5 into 3. And what is the product? 50. 7 into 4 is equal to dash into 7. Is equal to dash. What is 7 into 4? It is equal to 4 into 7 and the product is 28. 9 into 6 is equal to dash into 9 is equal to dash. 9 into 6 is 6 into 9 and the answer is 54. See, children have to be very familiar with tables and the properties of multiplication. Then doing all these sums in this worksheet video will be very easy for them. Next, we are going to see two digit by single digit multiplication. 40 into 2. You will have to write the place values so that you write the number 2 in the ones place correctly. 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into 4 is 8. So the product is 80. 14 into 4. 4 into 4 is 16. 16 can be regrouped as 16 ones is equal to 110 plus 6 ones. So, 6 in the 1's place and 1 is carried over to the 10's place. 4 into 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, the product is 56. So, here we saw multiplication without regrouping and multiplication by regrouping in the 1's place. Let us see another sum. 82 by 3. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 8 is 24. So, we have to regroup the 10's place now. 24 tens is Two hundreds plus four tens. So four in the tens place and two is more to the hundreds place. So the product is 246. Next sum, 75 into 3. 3 into 5 is 15. Regroup 15 ones, 1 ten plus 5 ones. So five in the ones place and one is carried over to the tens place. Next three into seven is 21. 21 plus one is 22. So, 22 tenths can be regrouped as 2 hundreds plus 2 tenths. So, maintain the 2 in the tenths place and move the 2 to the hundreds place. So, the product is 225. So, here we saw two sums. In one, we regrouped the tenths place. And in the last sum, we saw regrouping of both the 
ones and tens place to do many such sums to understand this concept better please do visit my video two digit by single digit multiplication where i have covered ample examples for each of these types for efficient and sufficient practice for the children Link to that video is given below in the description box. I'll also link the playlist to class 2 multiplication in the iCard section. Next sum that we are going to see in the worksheet is a story sum. Suraj bought 7 boxes of sweets. Each box had 6 sweet meats. So how many sweet meats did he buy? So in class 2 multiplication, you solve the story sums by two methods. One is repeated addition method and another is the multiplication method. So now let us see how to solve this sum by repeated addition. Here Suraj bought 7 boxes and each box contained 6 sweet meats. So, so how do you write this in repeated addition method? We have 7 groups of 6 items each. So 6 should be added 7 times. So I am adding. 6, 7 times over here and you get the answer to be 42. How do you write this in multiplication? 7 into 6 because 7 boxes and each box has 6 items. So 7, 6 are 42. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, Suraj bought 42 sweet meats. I've just shown you a sample over here in this worksheet. I've done many interesting sums for the story sums concept in my class 2 story sums multiplication video. Link to that video with proper naming convention is given below in the description box. You may visit that video and do ample sums for very good familiarity for the children with the story sums. Next, choose the correct answer. 7 into 6 is the same as 7 plus 6, 6 into 7, 7 minus 6 or 6 plus 7. We know that by order property of multiplication, 7 into 6 is the same as 6 into 7. Next, 4 plus 4 plus 4 can be written as 3 times 4, 4 times 3, 4 plus 3 or 4 into 4. Which is the correct answer? 3 times 4. Here 3 times 4 is added. So 3 into 4 is the correct answer. 8 groups of 5 can be written as 8 into 8, 8 into 5, 5 into 8 or 8 plus 5. How do you write this? 8 groups of 5 items each is 8 into 5. See if the children are very familiar with the concept of multiplication, they can do all these sums very easily. 5 fours can be written as 5 plus 4, 4 into 5, 4 plus 5 or 5 into 4. 5 fours are can be written as 5 into 4. 4 into 5 is equal to 5 added 4 times, 4 times 5, 2 times or all of these. Now let us look at this answer 4 into 5 which is nothing but 5 is added 4 times. You can also say it as 4 times 5. And what is 4 times 5? 20, which is nothing but 2 tenths. So all of these answers are correct. So we'll have to choose the option D. 8 fives can be written as 8 into 5, 5 into 8, 5 plus 8 or 8 plus 5. Which is the correct answer? 8 into 5 is the correct answer. Next, we are going to do fill in the blanks. 8 times 4. I am giving you the same type of question again and again because the children must be thorough with this concept as this forms the basis of multiplication as they go into higher classes. 8 times 4 is equal to dash into dash, which is equal to dash. How do you write this? 8 into 4 is equal to 32. 7 times 2 is equal to dash into dash. What is the answer? 7 into 2. And what is 7 into 2? 14. Next, 6 times 1 is equal to dash into dash. 6 into 1. What is 6 into 1? 6 ones are 6. 3 times 5 is equal to, what do you do here? You are going to add 5. 3 times 5 plus 5 plus 5. That is only 3 times 5. What is the answer? 15. 4 into 3 is equal to 
four three plus three plus three plus three that is three is added four times or four times three is equal to twelve dear viewers these are all the learning outcome in class two under the topic multiplication of which i have covered introduction to multiplication how to write two five ten tables how to write the three four six tables multiplication of two five ten tables on number line multiplication of three four and six tables on number line order property of multiplication two digit by single digit multiplication without regrouping with regrouping and then we did solve story sums by applying multiplication in two ways and finally in this video we did a quick and complete revision of all the topics in multiplication worksheet and we also did a mental math sums based on the multiplication table each of these topics are covered in separate videos and links to all the related videos are given below in the description box thank you for watching my video if you like my video give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that i make in my channel dear viewers we are completing the topic of multiplication for class 2 with this video i'll be going ahead with the topic of division for class 2 from my next video see you soon